Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this next video, I'm going to talk you through some dynamic formula that I use to calculate period to date and year to date. Particularly useful if you're in accounting or finance industries. Let's have a look. So here we have a data set which effectively consists of week numbers, period, which actually tells us then which week is in each period, and then sales by week. And what we want to do is we want to solve these three problems here, which is effectively what are the sales for the current week, what are the sales for the period to date, and what are the sales for the year to date. Now what we'll be using to calculate a lot of these values will be the XLOOKUP function. So if you're not familiar with that, I'll put down a link in the description with a previous tutorial that I've done that hopefully you might find useful. But let's get started. Okay, so firstly let's have a look at week. So up in cell H3, I've already put in uh, some data validation lists in here to help me out. And the link of how to do that is in the bottom of the video. Um, and what I want to do as well, just to make it a little bit easier for myself, I'm just going to name this particular cell here. So what we can do is we can just go up to the top left here and instead of that cell being called H3, we can just call that week. And that effectively just name ranges that cell to WK for week. When we're building that into the formula, it'll be a little bit easier. So if I get down to my week, we're going to use xlookup in here. So if I go equals xlookup tab, our lookup will be our week array, which is effectively uh, the array that has the week numbers in it. Control, shift and down. And I'm going to fix that range as well, just by hitting F4. That turn array, which is my sales, Control, shift and down. And then close my brackets and I hit return. So this one's nice and easy for week seven. The sales are 591 and if I change that, that should be 100% dynamic. What we're going to do next is we're going to populate some helper columns to help us out. And these will help us out in the period to date. So let's go on to year to date before we move on to period to date. And what I'm going to do is effectively I'm going to wrap two X lookups into a sum formula to get my year to date. So if I equals sum. And then I'm going to put in my first lookup. And that lookup is going to be the start of my range of my year to date. So effectively, I'm going to use that as week one there. And my return array is all of my sales. I'm going to hit close my brackets there. But now I'm going to put in a colon. And that's going to be my second part of my sum formula. Um, and that's going to be the end week. So basically the current week. Uh, that we're summing up to overall. So if I put in another nested lookup, my lookup value now is week seven. My lookup is all of my weeks. Comma. Turn array is all of my sales. If I close that, that'll close my second X lookup. Put in a bracket again. And you can see my year to date sales then 2569. Let's check that. So weeks one to week seven. Yeah, that looks great. Now, finally, we want to put in our period to date, which is a little bit trickier because it has a variable start and a variable end date. So what to help us along, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some initial helper columns here and effectively we're going to nest them into the formula then once we're finished. But these will just help us understand how we construct the formula in the first instance. So the first one we're going to look at is period. So which period is it the week in? So if I use X lookup again, my lookup value is week seven. I'm looking that down here, but instead of actually giving a sales value, I'm going to look up and see, right, which period is week seven in? I'm going to enter that in period two. The helper column that we need then is period start week. So which week does a period start in? So for this one, Again, we're going to use X lookup time. Our lookup value is going to be the period that we're looking at. Our lookup array is going to be our period. Turn array is which week. So it's going to find the first week that starts in period two. If I hit close brackets to that, we can see the period start week within period two is week five. And that makes sense there. We can see that there. OK, now that we've got our helper columns completed up here, Let's just uh, go in and enter the period today formula. So similar to what we've done in year to date, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap some around two different X lookups. So my first X lookup will be where the start of my period is. 
So my lookup value there is going to be what we did up here. So the period start week, which is week five, comma to that. We're going to put that in this range here, which is all of the weeks. And then we want to find the value of the sales in that range. So we're going to close our brackets. That's our first lookup. Then our second X lookup is going to be, well, where is the end of the week? So basically to the end of week seven overall. So what we're going to do again, we're going to put in X lookup, select week as our lookup value. Our lookup is going to be our weeks along here. Turn array is going to be all of our sales down here. If we close that second X lookup and in another bracket then to close the sum formula and hit return, we can see that delivers a period to date of 1106. So let's just check that. That's going to be in period two, seven. Yeah, that looks correct, 1106. Okay, now let's go in and get rid of our helper columns and effectively nest these X lookups within our period to date formula. So I'm just gonna delete that formula for the moment um, and let's just build it up from the ground. So my first X lookup that I'm gonna be doing is effectively looking at which period does week seven sit in. So if I look up my week seven, choose my weeks and then choose my period. See that, okay. So there's my period two. Now, what I want to do is effectively put another X lookup around that formula, giving me period two. So if I look up into the periods, and then find out which week starts at that period. So for period two, if I close my parentheses there, that should give me week five. So finally, what I want to do is I want to wrap my sum around that. This is the first part, which effectively is week five. And that sums up in my colon. And then I want an X lookup for the last week in the periods. So that's week seven, put that in the week column, turn value in my sales column, hit a bracket, that's to close the second lookup, hit another bracket, hit return, and that's sales of 11.06. Hopefully you found that video useful. There are a number of ways to solve this particular problem using say index and match. Let me know down in the comments what you think and maybe another method that you might choose to use. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll see you on the next video.